Hey folks, a busy couple of days. Um, <clears throat> last night I was with uh, some friends, aged from oh 65 to 94, and in a Weatherspoon pub. Now, for those of you that uh, are not you covering the UK, Weatherspoon is a chain of pubs giving fantastic value for money, uh, and lots and lots of wonderful different beers. Um, we were there having a, a meal last night, and the eldest chap, I uh, said, the 94, he comes every Tuesday, enjoys himself and the company, and he died. As far as we know, he died. His heart stopped for, for half an hour. The medics got his heart beating again, but uh, we don't have, hold out much hope for him. <laughs> Not at that age. So that was extremely upsetting. And I've just come back from a funeral. Everybody seems to be uh, dying. Seems to be a fashion. I don't know what I mean. But the person today was a very dear friend. She, she was a tax inspector in her working life, but when she took her in retirement, well, because of her uh, health, when she was 55, she did my, all my accounts for me for years. And I gave her I gave her paintings in, in lieu because she wasn't legally allowed to, to accept money for for that uh, service at that time. But she she got had multiple cirrhosis and which, which later, four years ago, uh, she, uh, she got most neurone disease, which killed her in the end. Well, she had a good life. A very very clever woman lovely friend so we went to the funeral for her today it's all funerals funerals people mm, i don't know something in the air i started a water i started a painting here but it didn't really like the design so i'm i'll go turn it to a sort of seascape because you like the one i did yesterday i just used a, a, a marker pen for this sort of a deep blue uh I'm going to do a simple sky. Now I've added another colour to the palette, burnt umber, which I don't usually use. You can make it with, with uh, burnt sienna. No, you can make burnt sienna from the burnt umber. Uh, <coughs> I've got, it's very good mixed with a bit of white for beaches or rough stuff. So we've got a, 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 a Brittany uh, cottage, a bit of slate roof. And a white whitewash and a bit of shadow on that side. The thing about houses, make sure your roof lines are parallel. Not so much that way, because they're going away from you, going away. <coughs> and a, a few trees, and I'm going to use this yellow that I didn't use yesterday. I poured, I, I squeezed it out, but I didn't use it. And yellow ochre, a bit of bright red, and some, oh, gotta be careful of that. I, so I had a complaint by somebody uh, because the video, when I, if I get my head in front of the camera, look, it focuses on, on my hand, but the background goes, goes uh, fuzzy. So I've got to be careful to keep out of the picture hard, I know. Uh, anyway, so let's start with a, a nice sky. We'll have paint grey, a bit of blue. Bit of blue and a lump of white, so we have a nice Payne's grey cloud. Ah, it's just whack it on. Uh, what gave me the idea for these sort of paintings was a guy called George Laporte. George Laporte. A um, wonderful French artist, he lived away, well, he lived alive still. He had a studio in Quiberon, in Brittany, and he painted wonderful uh, uh, landscapes, uh, waterscapes of the area. And I just loved his work. Couldn't afford to buy it though. And he, he would use also, he'd use sand in, in his mixes and 
say almost a 3D. There's a lot of white and that's Uh, several people came to me at the funeral of the wake <coughs> saying, are oh, you Dave Usher, the artist? Oh, I've seen your pictures. And, and, and the, the husband of the deceased, John, he, he took some of them around, around the house to see the paintings that Judith had, uh, had taken in lieu of payment for my accounts. But sadly... We saw her a couple of times in the last couple of months, but it was so depressing. This great lady with a marvellous brain. Loved by everybody. Right. This just takes a bit of time getting all this white stuff down. Uh, let's keep that white, a bit of, bit of ochre. Why not? A bit of variety in the sky. This again is on a piece of three millimeter MDF, which is not sandy, but you can hear the roughness. The the P I, I go a couple of coats of PVA glue, diluted PVA glue. I used to add. Um, And it, the glue itself lifts the surface so you've got a nice tooth. It's marvellous stuff to paint, paint. But it's really very durable, it's tough. I wouldn't use it on very big pictures, it's a bit bendy then. But um, you can get uh, various uh, thicknesses of MDF. I used to use a lot of a lot of um, 5mm MDF, but it's so heavy on the wall in the frame. If you've had the frame to it in a large 36 inches by 24 landscape, it uh, can come off and cause a little damage. Just add a bit of. Did you want to say quoi? I'll put some streaks in the sky for more clouds. Uh, just want to get down to that horizon. I won't go too much over that because I've got to put that house in. Oh, this is Fisherman's Cottage. I'll probably use a brush for that. There's another tree there. I, I'm going to I want to mix my tree colours, my summer colours with the three primaries. So I'll use some of that yellow. Nice horizon colour. If you've never tried a knife painting, now's your chance. It's great fun, it makes your wrist hurt after a while. I think I told the story about it. I didn't see him at the wedding, but it was his sister, Roger's sister, that got, uh, that got cremated. Um, and he lives. A lovely house in the bottom, which is where I paint quite a lot, for the salt marshes nearby. Um, I did a commission for the house, showing it was a double, it was double roofed uh, building, but it had a huge extension put on the side because he married again and they had children. So we went down and I took some photographs of it. 
but of course the perspective was all wrong. We had to link the the paint the uh, photos together, and that was a bit of a bit of a challenge. So, so there are some quite a, quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, of artistic license. This stuff, don't try not to flatten it out. Just a bit of, bit of you know, not sure about that one. Let's just flatten it. But we'll keep that one in. Because I like it. Right. Do a bit of. I'll just finish that off there. Well, that's where the trees are going. So I don't want too much uh, paint there. Do you know what we've done? We've, we've put a bit of a haze in the background of that one. But if, if, you, you, know, if you like this way of painting, try it. The, 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 the knives, get good quality knives. Where's a Newton? or something like that, but, but I tried and tested. There are some cheap chrome and crazy ones, they're, they're, they're useless. Uh, get good stuff, even if you're using student quality paint like I am. Mostly winter in use, and apart from this paint spray, which is stayed around me. Alright, I'm going to put that, uh, put that, that I've, I've, got, I've, I've got a little square, square ending for that. Oh, uh, yeah, there it is. But I'm not sure about it. I'd, I'd rather paint, certainly paint the chimney pot with, uh, with a, a small round, if I can find my oh, it. With that one, that's a great chimney stack brush. Yeah. Now, if you find that these some of these pictures, these, these films are are getting a bit uh, fuzzy buzzy. Uh, let me know because it's because I, I go in front of the camera. I've got a limited space here. I could make it much larger get, by getting rid of a work table, but but I'm quite happy with it. But I can't get away from the, the angle of the camera. This is spot on. It's shining down. It's about four foot off the ground, um, and it's up against the tray. Just keep it a bit uh, steady. Um, that's, uh, I, I would like to use my tripod, but I just haven't got the room. The, tri the legs of the tripod just get in the way. You need a lot of space for it. But anyway, enough of that. So we'll have the uh, chimney stack. Well, well, that would be white. So I'll bring that in. And the side will be uh, uh, a bit of shadowy. Okay. Uh, the cloth just squeeze the paint out. Squeeze the paint from the brush. I'll, I'll come over a bit more. Oops, so I've put my head in the way. Uh, well, that's a sort of shadowy colour there. Okay, uh, the roof. Slate. It's only really slate. Clean that up after a bit later. Come down there. And right, 
Now we've put a bit of, bit of white colour, white grey in here. Put some the door and something in there. I've done loads of these. Now, when you put your chimney put on, a bit of red, a bit of that, and just put it on, and just let it float. Fill that in around there, so I'm going to use some of this. It's all the same colour. All right, trees are going to go in there. I think. Speaking to a lady, elderly lady at the funeral, well I'm elderly, I think I was, but I am. Um, she goes to a drawing class, and I've never done that. There's a bit of a uh, skill I've never really learned. I, 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 I can draw enough to paint, that's all I can say, but I draw with a brush. Right, okay. Okay, a bit of, it's a bit, bit too dark here. Yeah. Let's just, 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 uh, just work some white in there. Okay. Now the fun begins. You get the knife. So I didn't use that little one. Yeah. And we'll, we'll knock up some trees now. So red, blue. Oh, you can use paint grey and the yellow. Look at that lovely rich, rich green. Probably oh, nice and thick. I don't know what they're doing. There's a, there's a loft conversion going on. We had it converted about 35 years ago. This is a tricky bit going around there. No. My favourite knife painter that I've mentioned many times is Sir so well, was, he's dead now. Um, Sir Catherine Williams, a, a Welsh artist, lived on Anglesey. And he used very, very limited colours. He could also do portraits of the local farmers. I mean, his estate when he died was worth about twelve million pounds. It was quite some time ago too. 
Right, let's just get some air in there. Right, okay, we'll let that go. And then we'll, we'll get a horizon in. It's a bit uh, hit and miss, but uh, so let's have a bit of that colour and a bit of ochre. A nice dark sombre. You can always draw your horizons in if you want. Uh, I don't, I choose. I can see a bit of the, the marker pen. Catherine Williams, Sir Catherine Williams of United in Opal. Um, he used to appear now and again on BBC television years ago, talking about. Okay, clean that palette. Let me clean the palette now. And we can put in some nice lighter ochre colours in there. Try to keep it simple. Not complicated enough as he is. When you cut the MDF, I, I use a, a craft knife and a straight edge. Uh, you have to be very careful. That goes the knife slips. To some beach now. So a bit of yellow oak and a bit of that burnt sienna. Burnt humber, shall I say. Uh, and we've got a good, good sand colour. Sand isn't yellow. It can be grey. Oh, geez, look who it is. Now, you know, what happens when you cut the ball, if you don't sand the edge off, it, it raises up. No, it's just across an edge. It's okay because it does help, help the, the boards, um, stop the ball from touching the, uh, the frame. Although, that's what you want it to do. Let me just lighten all this. Mix these, merge these in. All right, I can put a few rocks in there. Carry on up here. And now we we'll have some fun with the rocks. Oh, I used to burn number, you know, put it out, a bit of paint's grey. Mix uh, ultramarine with uh, the umber, you get a fabulous start. Warm dark. I'm going to go over that. Oh, we're getting dark in there. 
shallow these trees. So if you just to scrape it off, you don't like it. Like cutting on some of these rocks. I just work at them until they, they start to look like rocks. Put some uh, eyes on the on the house, and we'll have a bit of a dark, dark one. Have a red in there. I'll we'll put that going down over there. Oops, and again. If you try to work them to to a finish, you know, to a battle royal, it'll go wrong, just do it quickly. I like to do my foregrounds very, very quickly. Don't be frightened of them. Just because they're close to you, you don't look at, look there when you're looking out there. Although that's not the, to say that you should neglect to make some sort of nice job of them. Right, I'll leave that alone for a minute. I'll set some uh, rocky stuff in here. Nose blend. Just sort of rocks.
Oh, sort of a bit of sand in there. Oh, a bit of a bit of a rock. this life for years. Well, they're not the best rocks I've ever done. thing is, if you over if you overdo the drawing on this, it, it doesn't leave anything for the viewer to to imagine. Uh, there is my house. Uh, should be. Oh well, that's a. Won't be much dark around here. Oh, it lights, of it. Uh, right, there's anything else I'm going to do to that? Yeah, I'll uh, just bring. I can see the marker pen, so I'll just bring that back. A bit more white back there. I'm not going to do much more than that. Okay. So, uh, fisherman's cottage. So bear with me while I dismantle everything. You'll notice, if you watched yesterday's one, or didn't, um, that this is an old painting. See the trees. Uh, that's got a lot of paint on it now. Um, I'm going to put it, put it there with the, uh, the graveyard of other self. Such as pallets, right? Let's just put it off. One of my subscribers showed me that map, and it's really good. 
how to stick a board to your to your to this your painting surface painting support I say and it, it really works it's so good right I've got my family let in there I I banged in some some veneer pins where the uh, the painting sits just to keep it off of the uh, paint itself right. <coughs> because there's so many holes in the side, on the inside, from previous paintings. And this one I won't see the light today, it'll, it'll just dry it on, just stack it on there. I'm not sentimental about the paintings. Alright, there we are. Let's come out of it. So there we are, Fisherman's Cottage, Fisherman's Cottage. Uh, a bit rough, but you, but you can you know they're rocks. That, that's the whole point. It's an impression of rocks. The viewer tells you that that is a is a rock. Um, otherwise, you have a, a green sward coming down to the to, to the beach, but that wouldn't be quite right. Not for Brittany. Uh, I've been there a few times. Um, I, what I want to, uh, what I want to do is just to fill that bit in there. I cleaned the brush with uh, some washing up liquid. Uh, right, well I hope you like that folks. That's, I'll get this uploaded for you and you can have fun. All I've used is one knife and uh, this little brush. Uh, uh, did I use... No, I, uh, that's it. I don't think I used anything else. I put the square ended one away. So just one knife, uh, palette knife, to scrape all the stuff off. You can use this as a painting knife. They're great. Right, thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. If I've got another funeral to go to. Bye for now.